Chicago we chose for, for a, a number of reasons. Uh, for one, we just liked it because, you know, it, it looked like a city that would be great for a game. Pretty much we started off Chicago as doing a one-to-one -one scale, um, building it street by street, building by building, getting the right compositions, the right feel, the right grittiness to it. And then, you know, as any other game, we have to add a sense of uh, gaminess to it. Sure, there are some sacrifices that we have to make, but, uh, you know, we are making a game. Um, so what we want to do is we want to hit all the landmarks, all the, the soul of the city first. And then on top of that, we'll add the layer of gameplay itself. Gameplay specific, there's a ton of uh, cameras, so, you know, surveillance cameras, the bridges, the L train, all these systems connected to CityOS offered us a great, you know, great backdrop yeah. for, for gameplay. Yeah. And those are super interesting. Yeah. When you search for a setting, I think it's a, it's a very important decision. So we had a bunch of different teams that were digging deeper into ideas. Uh, so we were learning a lot about cities. It was a great moment, actually. People digging a lot into Chicago and New York. Like, uh, uh, for us, it's, it's striking because we're at really too narrow alleys and stuff like that all the time. Chicago is a lot more about red bricks, tight streets, density. Uh, so that on the visual side, on the, on the meaning side, was very interesting to us. Chicago's this city that always seems to rise up after, uh, out of uh, horrible uh, events. They define themselves as a city that, that's been growing to their crisis. Uh, you know, like they burned down almost to the ground, like, and then they rebuilt itself. Uh, their police force is very different than other cities. It was in reaction to the riots and everything in Athens back then. But all of those things we've discovered just, and, and sorry for the term, but it kind of wrote them a gigantic pair of balls when it comes to dealing with problems. And basically they had a very technological approach to that because, because they were overwhelmed. So the number of cameras have basically doubled and uh, they're already implementing some, um, some algorithm to detect uh, possible incoming crimes. And uh, Chicago is on the top of this game because of their uh, extensive uh, array of camera because of their predictive algorithm, but also because of their uh, facial recognition software they've implemented and they're being able to be very precise and very focused. So this was a great city for us, not only for its past and uh, the history of crime that obviously is a, is a great ground for us, but also for the take they have and the use they have of technology. And so when we were trying to think about what kind of city would embrace this kind of radical idea of CTOS, you know, letting your whole city be controlled by uh, computers, basically. And we thought of any city that would do it, that would embrace it, it's probably Chicago, because they've got that kind of attitude, which is like, all right, we'll take that on. We'll, we'll, we'll take the challenge.